I'm going to paint a quick example um, for when you want to use um, this sort of script that I'm going to show you shortly. Um, let's say you are validating uh, data from an Excel sheet where there was some sort of push-up event where uh, you have uh, certain people entering their age, uh, their party, the date in which they provided this data, and the number of, let's say, push-ups for this example, and the push-up ID, the unique identifier for every one of these uh, events. Uh, so normally you would have to manually validate for these certain types of things, um, but in this example I would be using both Python and Regex to automatically validate as many columns in within this Excel sheet um, that I want to as possible. Uh, so I had this focus specifically on the first column and what I want is to look for any number that is not within four units and or six units between four units and six units anything that is not within four to six units is something that we have to fix so running this and watching our returned results we get that one value here that is not following the rules that we set for this particular column. So the way this works and the way I like to see this um, is through with a quick visual. So here you can see all the lines to make uh, this uh, happen. So what you're going to have to do is um, for those who don't know what pandas is, basically it's a um, data uh, analysis um, package within Python. And the way you uh, install that is just pip install pandas. Once you get that installed, you can easily just uh, import that within any of your scripts. You're going to also have to import a uh, regex. The way you import that um, well, first of all, that's an integrated package within Python after you've downloaded it, assuming you downloaded it um, with default settings. So this is how you uh, normally import uh, red, uh, regex within your um, scripts. Using what we know from pandas and regex, which is beyond the scope of what um, this video kind of is going to be showing. I basically, what I did here is just open uh, this um, Excel sheet using um, pandas, first of all, uh, book1.xlxs, which is the name of this uh, sheet. Then I'd print the list of regex rules. Uh, errors, um, it's just which is just a label. Uh, I declare the x variable to be um, our first column, so push up id would be right here. And this is possibly not the most um, efficient way of doing uh, a lot of uh, validation, but it's one that I find the most like logical. Um, making a for loop um, to check for each individual match uh, within uh, this column. That's basically what you see here. So I in range length of x, so x is going to be our column pushup ID. So basically for the range of this first column, we are going to look for a regex uh, full match full match meaning we are using this regex the first value here declaring it here um, on our string variable here 
which is basically um, line by line going to be checking first, second, third, fourth, uh, the way that this is written. Um, so that's what this is. We are formatting our strings within this column, the X column, um, using using our f this first declaration um, to write the rules for every one of these strings. That's what you're seeing basically here. here. And in in this for loop, basically uh, after checking match, and if our match uh, is equal to none, we basically print the value, um, the value that this is checking um, for this instant uh, to see whether or not this is um, following the rules or not. So, as an example, just to reiterate. Um, we are looking at push up ID column. Uh, we are looping over this every single value. And within this loop, if it finds this is following um, regex rules set here, um, then we are going to return a value but if the match is equal to none as in if this match returns none as in no match then it's going to print uh, that error um, so just to show this one more time that's basically what we have here our four digits to six digits do not return anything because they are matches um, except this uh, single value that we see here.